watching. All right, welcome back here, guys, to the analyst desk. Uh, I think we lost Shams for a second. Hopefully, we'll get him back in here, though. But uh, I do want to take a second uh, to just say thank you to all the new follows. We got Azu, Astrop15, and Mace888. Thank you so much for the follows. We are now officially over 600 follows on WTP Esports. So thank you, guys. Much love to you all. And you Yo. all are amazing, whether you are a viewer, donator, watcher, player, supporter, staff member, doesn't matter. I thank you guys to anyone who's been a part of this. This has been an awesome dream to be able to put on some Splatoon 2 esports action for you all to watch, to play, to participate in. So thank you guys. And we love you all. So thank you guys so much. Uh, but right now, if you didn't uh, catch the first matchup here today, Cassie, on the scoreboard, we still have Squid and Good versus Micklin. So uh, recap this last match for us before we jump into the next one. All right. So pretty much everybody had uh, their bets all on uh, Squid and Good. Uh, there was an upset. <laughs> Micklin beat Squid and Good 3-1. A part of that, actually, due to possibly Squid and Good not having their captain, uh, Porky. But... Overall, yeah, Miklon took it 3-1. They played very smart. Um, they played with a lot of sustenance. So we'll definitely see what happens. This is going to be very interesting. Miklon definitely improving. Yeah, I mean, they they definitely showed up. They definitely showed that they are here to play, that they may have a chance to even upset some of these other teams, Stargaze right now. And then, of course, mm -hmm. whoever wins this moves on to a whole lot of rage. Speaking of which, let's go look at the playoff bracket one more time before we jump into this matchup. Uh, right yeah. now, you just witnessed, as Cassie was saying, Micklin taking on Squid and Good, winning that 3-1, which means they advance into loser round two. Now taking on Stargaze, who lost last week to whole lot of rage to knock them down into the loser's bracket winner of this will take on whole lot of rage to see who can make it to the finals so a lot of on the line a chance at being the pro splatoon playoff champion and as we discussed depending on donations that come in through the rest of the season maybe upwards of a prize pool of around 150 dollars so some yeah that's um that's yeah. some serious cash right there some things on Welcome the line back, for these two teams for sure so we're uh, still trying to get stargaze into the lobby but as we do let's talk about this matchup and first i'll pass it on to you shams uh, stargaze versus micklin talk about these two teams talk about what you expect to see and what the score line might be so I'm going to be honest, I don't really know too much about Stargaze, but I think Micklin's going to take the set. You know, like, um, based on the way that they just destroyed Squid and Good when we expected them to make a comeback, and we knew that they didn't have Porky, but I think I think Micklin can take it here. By the way, I have to back out at like six, so uh, you might want to get another commentator. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what happens. Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Cassie, do you do you agree with that? I mean, what are the odds that Stargaze can take this win? And are they the underdogs, even though they are further into the losers bracket? Uh, potentially, is Micklin the favorite still here, or is Stargaze just have as much of a chance as they do? This is very interesting because the last time we saw, like the last time I got to see Crush Stargaze was when we commentated uh, doing Stargaze versus Hall, A Whole Lot of Rage. And that was, uh, I think, like week five, four, something like that. Mm -hmm. But during that week, specifically, there was one match to where A Whole Lot of Rage actually pulled out, you know, their actual comps and whatnot. And Stargaze almost won. Like, I'm not going to say... This could, like, I'm not going to say specifically, like, they, you know, uh -huh. they could have, like, they had it and whatnot, but, like, they almost beat a whole lot of rage, where a whole lot of rage was still at a decent amount of ability. So, this is going to be very interesting. I feel like a lot these teams both run off momentum. Yeah. And yeah. whoever's going to be able to seize control of it is going to be the one who's going to come out on top. It's going to be, uh, depending on who's going to control that pace. I feel Lex is going to play a big part of Nikola. And Yeet's got to play a bigger role in Stargaze, so we're going to see what happens. Yeah. And Sounds we, like it. Yeah. 
We did see this matchup actually take place last week in the winner's bracket. This was the fourth and fifth yep. seed to see who won and got to play whole out of rage. The story that happened, though, Micklin did take this at 3-1, but eventually after game three, Micklin with internet issues, it became uh, <laughs> Micklin one player plus three other team, uh, three other members that were emergency <laughs> subs. And so we decided as TOs, hey, like you, you get a DQ here, so uh, you'll be dropped yeah. to the loser bracket. So Stargate's got to move forward, even though it was kind of a two to one series. But in that series, uh, and in the series, I can't remember if it was against this or uh, Micklin or was it against Whole Lot of Rage. But Yeet was popping off at one point, had seven kills in a row. There was a huge clip on Twitter. So Ooh. both teams Yo. have the potential to pop off, and I think you're right. I think Yeet is going to make uh, this kind of a, a make-or-break situation. I think how well Yeet is playing and popping off today could determine if Stargaze take this from Micklin. Of course, it is a team game, so every player matters. And for Stargaze, we have Yeet, Squib, JB here, and with a new name is Vesta going by Ether Cute today, it looks like, for mm -hmm. uh, the alpha side of Stargaze. And then Micklin, of course, still the same team we just saw, Cast, Lex, Midi, and Fear. So... Here we go again. Teams are locking away for this best of five. Their first team comps, Splat Zone, Sturgeon, Shipyard. Do you guys expect Micklin to pull out the same team comp as they did against Squid and Good or any changes you guys think they're going to be making? Uh, you know, I think they definitely will make some changes, but their comps, as we saw against Squid and Good, um... You know, they did kind of switch it up a little. That It was a fluid comp. So, we could definitely see that here. But at the same time, we will, you know, we will see just very similar comps as to what they ran. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it looks like both teams are ready, so we'll see what Stargaze decides to pull out and if Micklin will take the same team comps they did against Squid and Good. Let's jump into game number one. It's Splatstone Sturgeon Shipyard. Winner of this best of five gets its shot at the losers' finals against Whole Lot of Rage. Both these teams won it, I'm sure. Let's jump into this five game series. Nice. Here we are. Sturgeon Shipyard zones. And we yep. already see. Yeah. And yeah, the same exact comp. Double armor with the missiles and the booyah over on the side of uh, Miklon. Mm -hmm. Stargaze taking a bit of a different approach. Doing the double suction bomb rush. Interesting. Yeah, so suction bomb rush on Sturgeon zones just really helps to take the zone. And speaking of take the zone, we do see F attempting that flank. Um, Yo, know, my screen is lagging a bit, but uh, right now we do see Yeet coming in with the machine on the zone, getting missiled and taking the zone. So, um, yeah, yeah Stargate's going to be Yeet. the first one to take control here. Yeah, they definitely will use this momentum to get a good score here. Um, as we see, F goes down Whoa. to that splash down from Yeet. Just a great read by Yeet. Um, and he's being targeted by Lex now, and he will go down to Lex. Good for Lex for finding the angle. Now he's popping that Booyah at the zone. They get the neutral, they get the cap, they get the penalty reset. And nice he to get takes that down Squib squid. before he can jump out. All right, he okay. takes out Yeet, but will go down to JB, who goes down himself. And because these teams both rely on momentum so much, uh, we... Oh... Uh, that was very was interesting, say, actually. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, like, so you saw Miklon. You know, they, they yeah. go ahead and they take the zone. But you see Thorgaze just out behind, despite the fact that Miklon's already pushed up and everything. You see Stargaze still go ahead and retake it anyway. Yeah. Um, we do see JB getting low. Not quite going down. Um, we do see a two down on the side of Stargaze, and that could be a Micklin lead. And it looks like it will be. We do see JB kind of hiding around the stack, but going uh, down to Lexus 52 gal. 
So Alex is in that perfect position right now. He can just kind of take these fights as much as he want. Got the wall yeah. in order for space. It's going to be very difficult to get anyone to get out of Stargaze. Yeah, almost takes down that charger. The zone is being contested, but Lex is just going so well with the flank. It goes down wow. to three. But that was such an important reset. Lex will get it back, but now they will have to start over all over again. That was crucial. Yeah. They needed that zone control. They did not get that zone control. I think that double suction rush, like we were talking about, that's really good for this zone in order to get it back. Mm -hmm. But they needed that there. Game would have been oh, over. We do see Yeet doing the panic ish flash down. Um, now going in on the zone and getting the capture, getting Midi taken out. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but he did it. And now we see him going on that. I'm just going to call it a plat because I don't have call outs pulled up. Oh, um, we, do okay. see Lex, <laughs> we do see Lex popping the Booyah throwing it near he he will be going in on jb and getting jb three down on the side of stargaze it's gonna be very difficult for them yeah. to push back in mm -hmm. once again that penalty armor. rolling on the side of yeah. mclon armor comes out but with the three down situation it might have been wasted a little bit they don't really care because the tri slusher already has armor again that's the, the thing about double down. armor yeah that's yeah. the thing about double armor you can afford to be kind of, you know, somewhat wasteful, but more, you know, uh, less conservative with your um, armors. Miklon gonna take that. Yeah. It seems like, so at the very beginning, Stargaze did have, it felt like Stargaze had a lot of decent control because they were winning the fights and they were mainly taking control of that midsection. And then once Lex got further and further in, it was very difficult for them to push back. Yup. Yeah, good and game there, wax. and uh, we'll talk about it here in a second, but I do want to take a quick second to thank you for the raid. Please forgive my German pronunciation. <laughs> Dutsche Splatoon Bunzeliga? Uh, hosted with 48 viewers. Uh, I mean, d does anyone even know German? Cassie or Shams? <laughs> do a better job. No. I took four years. No, I can't. How do you say it then, Cassie? <laughs> you're you're up. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Either way, thank you so much for you the raid. You have to raid. Like put it in chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, thank nah. you for the raid. And then Dan Frosch and Casterton, thank you for the follow. Right now, we are in the pro Splatoon playoffs right now. Micklin taking on Stargaze. Winner will move on to face Whole lot of Rage in the loser's final. And then the finals will be uh, that team, whoever wins that matchup, versus jackpot but now right now is stargaze versus micklin micklin taking that first win off the bat shams how did they do it this time around um right now clams on the reef they just have to be as aggressive as they were last time so uh yeah uh we will possibly see more clams misses in fact, I'm not even going to see, possibly, we're going to see it. So, um, it will just be, you know, the accuracy of the clams. Usually that's a given, but here it's harder. Um, and right now, we probably will see a different comp from Stargaze. And perhaps, you know, different, uh, you know, like, different strategy from them based on the way they push in. Clams is definitely, you know, usually conservative as a mode compared to the others. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm interested to see if Yeet moves back to something like the Glugas that he's been popping off. Maybe Clam Blitz isn't the best option for that. I'm also interested to see, I feel like Micklin's hero, if you will, today has been Lex so far. So mm -hmm. we'll see if Lex continues to pop off. But we are about ready for game number two. This is a best of five. Micklin looking to go up two to zero. Stargaze trying to even out this series at a one one level. Let's jump into Clam Blitz on the reef and see who takes game number two. Yep. Here we go. Now, last time, Miklon Heroes once again pulled off a very, very aggressive comp, very like up in your face. 
So we're going to see yep. what Stargaze actually does to really counter that, because Miklon is yep. not afraid to go the double armor. Mm -hmm. And what do you notice about Stargaze's comp? Um, because I believe they have double armor as well, so there will be a lot of armor. Yeah. Four armors on the field total. But what do you notice about Stargaze's comp? That's very interesting. Like, once again, they're taking the same uh, route that uh, Theo did with the ring over on the side of Stargaze with the custom jet, but they're going to be able to get Ray out more frequently and also be able yeah. to take it, uh, at least these 1v1 fights a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Simply by having like an actual burst bomb makes it a little bit easier for you to get a little splash damage out there. Yeah. So we do see Yeet with nine clams picking one up to make the super clam perhaps a bit early um, as Mitklum themselves has the super clam but neither is wanting to push that much as we might see a two down, but no, Midi will get the kill on Yeet and Escape and get the Clam in, but that will be a single Clam push, unfortunately, as Stargaze is already going in back. Um, Stargaze, Stargaze right just now with two leading powers. the Clam away. Yeah, they've got two powers over in their base, you know, one from the yeah. hitting. JB, now with the Booyah, watching the flank on the right, but doesn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. um, we do see Ether right now just kind of playing conservative behind Carr, running away from that Booyah, and popping that Ray, um, but it won't be enough as Micklin gets another Clam, and we do see Midi being Ooh. under pressured by the Ray. Midi about to get that armor, Will he pop it? He will. He is now going to go up on the street. That armor saved him from the deadly bomb throw. As he gets another armor to take out JB, get more clams in, and Midi will go down. That might be the end of the push, but they still could extend it here. This is going to be a problem, I think, for Stargaze. I feel like specifically the Ray in their comp is going to make it to where they have to get that Mac control. If they don't get that Mac control, that Ray is going to be absolutely useless. There's yeah. not going to be able to get any picks off of it because all of the players are going to be able to flank Vestnet way too quickly. Mm -hmm. Midi going in again. Yep, we do see some map control coming out here from Mitklin. Oh. And Midi will trade. The clam will go in. And two go down for the side of Stargate, but three went down for the side of Mitklin. Kind of like a standstill right now in that mid section. Squib. Yeah, and F will hand. go down with oh. just to that end zap. Hate to see it. Um, Yeet picking up the clam, almost dying to the bomb, but he doesn't. And they have two clams right now. Um, I think Yeet threw the clam unaware of who was picking it up as it's about to blink out. And that's, that's unfortunate from Yeet and Stargaze. He just threw it away and no one picked it up. Kind of wasting clam there. That's unfortunate. Um, but with their other clam, they are mm. definitely yeah. trying to do something. It feels like Stargaze is having to go into these fights always like a person down. It's very yep. difficult to go into a comp like this. This comp that yeah. Nickel has got working. We have, and all the team is working so close together, and they're armor cycling, and they're getting all the right reads when they need it. It's very difficult to get that map control back. And we're seeing yeah. all that pressure come out from Miklon, making it very difficult. Stargaze, once again, two down. Here comes the Ray. And here comes the try to get the flank on the Ray, but and it's not going to happen this time. Exit. Um, yeah, we do see Heat going down, and Lex goes down as well to that K throw. So, um, player down on both sides. Right now, a bit of a neutral game here. I feel like Stargaze has got a point to prove here. They gotta get back that map control. If they yeah. want to get any use out of that Ray, they've gotta get that map control back. Mm -hmm. And you Ray, that Ray all you want. Really it can get all out. the picks at once, but if you can't get that map control, you're not getting anything out of it. And you're absolutely right, Cassie. We do see uh, Mitty right here just in the corner having that armor. We do see Pity jump, and that has got to oh. be one of my favorite strategies, Pity jump but unfortunately they won't be able to capitalize on it, or will they? Because a double kill just came mm. out for F. And with 10 seconds left, that looks like it'll be the end, unless 
um, Stargaze can somehow turn it around and pull off the Miracle Push. Doesn't look oh, likely with two down on both Black sides. In the most, and, yeah, oh, he's like gonna end it. Play him then. Oh, <laughs> that, that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Sneaky, you cheeky, sneaky, Lex. <laughs> no. This is ready. Right out of the situation. None of the enemy team was able to really do anything about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I mean, Micklin had full control of that game from the get-go, and you know, I was talking a little bit earlier about Lex being the one to pop off, but I actually am going to give my MVP of that matchup to Cass, who had, I think, six armors, but not only that, there was a point in that second push where he killed the Ray with a bomb and then it was able to keep the basket open so much longer. So that second push going from 80, I think, to down to 34, I, I credit to Cass, and that was really their big score of the day. And it just mm -hmm. seemed like Stargaze... Man, guys, I don't know. I'm getting a little nervous here now. Down 2-0. They yeah. just didn't seem to have it going in that matchup at all. Yeah. Um, I hate to back out mid-set, but I got to eat dinner. So uh, <laughs> okay. looks like okay, Luke, you'll have to be the co-commentator with Cassie. I, I got this. Don't you worry, Shams. Listen, we'll keep the show going. I'm the co-commentator. He's the actual commentator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Sham. We'll see you on that time. Yeah. We have uh we also have RDB now subbing in for Stargaze. So I don't know if that's just specifically for this matchup okay. or for this pick, but that's also an interesting thing to see them sub him in mid match. So Cassie, what do you think about that? This is gonna be okay. Um RDB, remember, I think they did this, if I remember correctly, in the set against Whole Lot of Rage to where they did sub an RDB, and that was the set where they, at the very end, they fought back really hard, and they almost actually won. I remember me and Stormy, if I remember correctly, commentated that last game. Right. Ooh. So this could actually do a lot. Is Stormy coming in here now? <laughs> Yes, I would chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Caster, <Yo>. so. <laughs> yes, Caster. All Cassie's right, we got the dynamic while, duo dude. back yes. there. I get the hype man. You're just making me do <laughs> yes. all these screen graphics uh, back and forth, and now, now I have to change everything again, Sarmi. It's all your fault, but I love you. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just saw he left right. Okay, look. Part of, so like it's 25 percent is like. All right, I gotta hop in for. I can't just leave Cassie there. And it's seventy five percent. Is I gotta commentate, bro. Like, let's go. <laughs> all, right, yeah. all right. Well, we are pretty much ready for match number three. So we'll get you. We'll get you in. You are good to go, Stormy. We are excited that you are here to cast. This is gonna be game number Woo! three. Stargaze going to need the reverse sweep if they want to make it into the finals losers matchup against Whole Lot of Rage. This is their last chance. It is a do or die. Let's jump into it and see if they can pull off the miracle. All right, here we are on Tower Control Ink Ball Art Academy, and mm -hmm. I'm excited to see the con come out here. Maybe we see that yeet. Yes, we do. Oh, we see that yeet. Blue go. come out. Let's go. The blue, the blue are out. He's done playing around. He is looking to get a bunch of kills. Yeah. And with these best the here. Mm-hmm. With these best here in that charge, and so can't wait to see how this goes. And there is one down on the side of Melanda Hero, so they're already off to a good start. Look at the push Ooh, going. He's on another pick there. Boom. He's spicy. He, he's just going in now, and he just jumps on the rounds. They are pushing this tower, and they're looking to maybe get a five to go for that. Nice shot there by Vesta. And oh, Star Games popping up early in this match. They're not playing. They're going in. The they had enough of this. Oh, wow. See, what did you think Melanda Hero needs to stop them? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be nuts! I think that was a great start already. Yeet, already right, now. Finally gets taken out. The three go down now on the side of Stargaze. RDB is gonna hold it though. Gets it to 40. Yes, in yes indeed. That was a really good start to put through with Stargaze. That's how you come out that base and come out the gate and start swinging at your opponent. So, yeah. that was really good by them. And now the Glenton Heroes needs to swing back at Stargaze. And let's see how the Glenton Hero responds to Stargaze to return fire. So there's the Inkjet from Fear. Doesn't get anything out of it, though. 
Ellie, though. We see Yeet here in the middle, pocketing and stuff, and then we see yeah. the Booyah over here by Lex, and he's getting pushed back, and they're in a struggle mode, but sadly, the armor will probably come out the stage, though, man. This push is over in the Western Hero. The raid does come out on the side of Stargate, so looking to Southern, and of course, doesn't look like it'll get much done, though, as their teammates are going down, and all this does go down, so armor is almost at the rating here for the side of Stargate, so they're looking to shift on this push. It's gonna be very interesting, Squid. Trying to build up armor as fast as they can. Cast and Lek, sorry, Cast and Fear both on the tower. It's gonna back off, and they're gonna probably take this lead right here. Here comes the armor. Yeah, they do take the lead, and that's a full wipe they, the why Stargate. This is gonna be trouble. And now, with them approaching this third checkpoint, Stargate needs to come out and stop them, but I don't know. I don't think they're gonna be able to, sadly, and this might be the season end for Stargate. Oh, what the heck? Oh, nice comes tapping Bruno. by Vesta to keep their hopes alive. And no, he's cheap on another, another one. side. But another one, but the last one is the junior. I don't know they're going to get the uh, time. No, is. not in time. Oh, uh, man. He just, oh, it's going to do it. Came up like, yeah, sadly, 3-0, Big Lesson Heroes. Congratulations to them. They're going to, I think, lose this finals, right? This We're going to go right? to lose this finals against whole lot of rage. And Mickline Indeed. going up today. Wow. Wonder if they can make the biggest upset pretty much this tournament has. <laughs> yeah. They, 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 I'm surprised they beat Squid and Good, and now here they are going to lose his finals against Whole Lot of Rage. I don't think even a whole lot of Rage was expecting that, so this is going to be interesting to see. They're yeah. playing with fire right now. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. talk about a start for Micklin in this loser's bracket. <laughs> Essentially already 6-1, and one, and of course they're going to have a tough matchup going on against Whole lot of Rage, but this is not the Micklin that we've seen before. We talked about it after match one. I'm going to say it again here after match two. Micklin has something going on today, guys. I don't know what it is. is it, yeah. How does a team like this just all of a sudden it feels like get one or two steps better, even just over a, a couple weeks? It's it's literally repetition. When you you gotta understand, like some teams are just hungrier than others. The teams that are hungry, the teams that are willing to go forth and are willing to improve are gonna be the teams that are gonna be the most scary. Because yeah. there are those teams specifically that kind of like hang back and they're just like, I'm fine where I am. I don't think Miklon is satisfied. I feel like they've just got like this competitive fire to where they're just like, I want to get better. I want to be one of the top teams one day. I want to be able to go and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with like teams like FT Win and be able to say, I have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Speaking Indeed. of which, I don't know if, I, I don't know how much chance we are we giving them, Stormy. You've seen Micklin play here today. Uh, of course, they're still going on against the Titan here now against WLR as we look at the bracket. Do you give them a shot? Do you give them, with the way they're playing today, a chance to take down a team like Whole Lot of Rage as we move into the losers round three? I'm just going to keep it straight. They'll be lucky to get even a game. <laughs> Storm, it's don't do us like that. Is. Don't do us like I, that. I, <laughs> no, it's like it's just that difficult, though. Like it's not. Glenn and Hero is a good team. I've played them before. They destroyed us on persistent. They destroyed us, but. <laughs> A whole lot of rage is a whole different side of the spectrum. You go for being squid and good, okay, that's cool. You beat Stargaze, okay, that's cool. But you're talking about a like 50 foot cliff, like a leap. That that's a different side of the spectrum, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely uh, uh, gonna be a tough matchup for them. But I mean, Stormy, at, at least right now, give them some credit, Micklin. In your mind, are, are they playing better today than you've seen them play in the in the past? Oh yeah, no doubt for sure. Because I texted uh, IPS because I was like doing stuff right, and then I came back, and then I saw in the chat that Mick with the hero playing Stargate, and I said, "Wait, hold up, they be squinting good? <laughs> they be squinting good? Yeah, like th that in a, that yeah. in itself is an accomplishment. Squinting good is a happen. really strong team. Yeah, yeah. squinting good is a really strong team. So." That in itself is an accomplishment. So congrats to Melody Hero. I've got to give them credit. So they're going to stay able to secure their spot in the top three in this league at this point. So congrats to them. Yeah, congrats to them. But I do want to send off Stargaze. They have been a great team. They've had some amazing moments. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone 
predicted them to win this whole league because there are some teams that are step a two uh, step two or three above them but man they've had some great plays they've taken some wins off of some really good teams and man oh man mm -hmm. that clip of yeet popping off against whole lot of rage last week even though they didn't win and with those oh. seven kill blue guys in a row, it's just gonna be stuck in my mind as one of those moments that lives on in history mm. here at WTP. Mm. So. Stargaze, Stargaze is like seen as a mid-level amateur side of the community, but they're like the top, like one of the top level, top mid-level teams. Like they're just really good. Yeah. When it comes yeah. to mid-level, they they're they're a different animal. They're a different breed, especially Yeet. Yeet is something else. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Well, congrats to them. They definitely earned a spot in the Pro League, even if they get knocked out here right now by Micklin. We appreciate you, Stargaze, for participating, putting on some great entertainment, and uh, continue to work on and continue to improve. I think this team is going places. But right now, we do have another matchup on the way. Micklin going to have to take on Whole Lot of Rage to see who can make it to the finals against Jackpot. We're going to take a... Five minute break. We'll see you guys on the other side for some more Splatoon 2 action. Stick around and we will get the ball rolling with these other teams in just a moment.